yes i am live now welcome once again to another new video this is santu sahu and you are watching sahu's tutorial and in this youtube video i will be covering some important mcq question on english literature for the upcoming cvt pg english literature exam this is a kind of mega mock test i am conducting mega mock test on english literature for the upcoming cvt pg english literature exam so do join and do let me know if everything is okay so that is your first question on the screen please make sub uh, make sure to subscribe the channel and tap the bell icon to get more notification that i will upload in future i think everything is okay and i am audible and visible to all of you those who have not joined yet please do join and you can also watch this session later so without delay that is your first question on your screen please do answer in the comment box and to let me know if everything is okay yes so and if you want me to make video on any particular topic you can write down in the comment box you can suggest in the comment box i will definitely try to make video on those topics so without wasting your precious time here is your first question on your screen of mega mock test on english literature for the upcoming cubt easy in this literature lecture okay the first question is that which of the following books has been called the true prologue of renesha and the first modern monument of socialism the question is that which of the following books has been called the true prologue of renesha and the first modern monument of socialism now your options are utopia the school master new atlantis arcadia so here it is utopia utopia is known as the true prologue of renesa and the modern monument of socialism and who wrote this it was written by thomas moore thomas moore has written this work thomas moore and for the first time utopia was published in 1516 In 1516, it was published in Latin, and in 1551, it was translated by Ralph Robinson into English. So, in 1551, it was translated into English by whom? It was translated into English by by Ralph Robinson. Okay, moving on to question number two. As a writer of sonnets, Sir Philip Sidney was influenced by. Your options are Montaigne, Petrarch, Aristotle, none of these. So, as a writer of sonnets, Sir Philip Sidney was influenced by Petra. Petra is the right option. Petra influenced Sir Philip Sidney to write sonnets. Next question: How many sonnets did Shakespeare compose? Shakespeare composed 154, 180, 164, 200. So, Shakespeare composed total 154 sonnets. So, A is the right option. Moving on to question number four: Who wrote the famous lines? Since there is no help. Come, let us kiss and part. Nay, I have done. Yet get no more of me, and I am glad. Yeah, glad with my all my heart that thus so cleanly I myself may free. So these are the lines of a sonnet, and these lines were written by whom? Thomas Campion, Shakespeare, Sidney Drayton. So it was written by Michael Drayton, and these lines appear in. The sonnet sequence called Ideas Mirror. Drayton's sonnet sequence is named as Ideas Mirror. Ideas Mirror is the name of the Drayton sonnet sequence, and it is sonnet number sixteen. And it is sonnet number sixteen. So in sonnet number sixteen, these lines appear that that since there is no help, come let us kiss and part. May I have done yet? Get no more of me, and I am glad, yeah, glad with all my heart that thus so cleanly I myself may free. So these were lines of the Ideas Mirror written by Michael Drayton. Moving on to question number five, who wrote Delia? Delia is a sonnet sequence written by Samuel Daniel. So yeah, the right option is Samuel Daniel. Samuel Daniel has written Delia. Okay, next question. The meaning of wheat seed. The meaning of wheat seed. Let's increase the size here. Okay. Yeah. 
Yes. The meaning of wheat seed in Old English is wheat white, widely wandered. So wheat seed is an Old English poem, and the meaning of wheat seed is wanderer. So here, yeah, B is the right option. Question number seven. The name of William Golding's first novel is The Inheritors, Pinter Martin, Lord of the Flies, The Pyramid. So the name of William Golding's first novel is Lord of the Flies. The first novel written by William Golding is Lord of the Flies. Moving on to question number eight. <clears throat> Sorry. In this progress and poverty, in this progress and poverty is the name of a book written by Henry George. So Henry George has written the Economist. Henry George has written the book called Progress and Poverty, and this book was influenced by the American War of Independence, the French Revolution, the Marxism system or the Marxian system. None of these. So the book Progress and Poverty was influenced by the Marxian system. So C is the right option. Next question. Each of the following arrangements of Jane Austen's novels is in correct chronological order, correct chronological sequence. So actually, these are all options are actually in a wrong order. So the first novel, Sense and Sensibility, appeared in 1811. The first novel of Jane Austen's uh, that is called Sense and Sensibility appeared in 1811. Then uh, it is Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice published in 1813. And its first title is First Impression. So the first novel is Sense and Sensibility, published in 1811. The second novel is 1813 novel that is Pride and Prejudice. And what was the working title and the first title of Pride and Prejudice? That is First Impression. And after 1813 comes Mansfield Park. So Mansfield Park that came in 1814. In 1814 came Mansfield Park. So Sense and Sensibility. Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park came in 1814. Then there is Emma. Emma, the novel Emma appeared, uh, was published, was published in 1815. In 1815, the novel Emma published. And then Persuasion and Northanger Abbey. These two novels, uh, these two novels, Persuasion and Northanger Abbey. These two novels published in 1818. These two novels published in 1818, and these were the posthumous collection after. The date of Jane Austen. These novels were published in 1818. The first novel, Sense and Sensibility. After two years came Pride and Prejudice, 1813. Then after one year, Mansfield Park. Then after one year, 1815. And at the end, 1818, Persuasion and Northanger Abbey. Abbey. These are the posthumous uh, collections of novels. So posthumous novels that were published in 1818. Okay. Next question. Rebecca and Ravana. Appear as dull heroines. So it is Rebecca, Rebecca and Ravana appear as dull heroines in Sir Walter Scott's first novel, Quentin Durward, Even Ho, The Heart of Midlothian, The Pride of Lemonmore. So it was Even Ho in the novel Even Ho, the character Rebecca and Ravana appear. So here Even Ho is the right option. Moving on to question number eleven, who among the following playwrights is known for his love for cricket? Is actually Harold Pinter. You don't need to read this. Okay. Harold Pinter is known for his love for cricket. Okay, whatever. So the question number twelve where the introduction to 1987 edition of an of an anthology of the 20th century New Zealand poetry, an anthology of 20th century New Zealand poetry was written by James K. Baxter, Vincent O'Sullivan, Daniel Glover, Alan Carnot. So. An anthology of 20th century New Zealand poetry was written by Vincent O'Sullivan. Vincent O'Sullivan is the right option. Next slide. Let's see this. Let's see this. Wait a minute. Okay. Now identify the current group consisting of Wellington group of poets. So they are actually from New Zealand literature. Wellington group of poets: Alan Carnot, James K. Baxter, Morris Gay, Albert Bendit. No. Ruth Dallas, Charles Bress, Charles Spears, Basic Bowling, no. John K. Baxter, W. H. Oliver, Alistair Campbell, and Louise Jones. So this is C is the right options. These poems are 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 part of Wellington group of poets, and it it is part of New Zealand literature. So John K. Baxter, W. H. Oliver, Alistair Campbell, and Louise Johnson is the right options here. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to question number fourteen. Who among the following writers won the Booker Prize? 
for literature in 1985. So, among the college writers for Booker Prize for Literature in 1985, uh, Kerry Hume, Alexander Bathgate, Helen Ellis, Vincent Pike. So, it's Kerry Hume. Kerry Hume is one of the finest writers in the field of New Zealand literature. So, Kerry Hume got the Booker Prize in uh, for, for literature in, in 1985. So, it's Kerry Hume, the New Zealand writer. Next question. The novels of early modern period in New Zealand writer in New Zealand. The novels of early period in New Zealand were written on Maori life. So Maori culture or Maori life. Okay. Who were the Maori? The immigrants from Asia? No. The immigrants from Africa? No. The earliest inhabitants of New Zealand. So the earliest inhabitants of New Zealand uh, were known as Maori. They were the Maori uh, people. And the novels of early period of New Zealand literature uh, were based on those Maori life. So, yes, C is the right answer. Okay. What is heroic couplet? What is heroic? What is the heroic couplet? Heroic couplet, kya? It's a two line stanza having eight syllables in each line. It's a two line stanza having ten syllables in each line. It's a two line stanza having two rhyming lines in iambic pentameter. So, that is, it is no having eight syllables, in, it is wrong. It is also tense little wrong. It is a two line stanza having two rhyming lines in a iambic pentameter. So it is in iambic pentameter. It is having two rhyming lines. That's a heroic couplet. Okay. Next question. 17. What is meant by enjambed couplets? Enjambed couplets count. What is meant by enjambed couplets? The couplets in which the sense completes at the end of the each couplet. That is wrong. The couplets in which the sense runs from one couplet to another, or the couplets in which the last line contains an extra syllable, that is wrong. The couplets in which the last line is sought by one syllable, that is also wrong. The couplet in which the sense runs on from one couplet to another, that is called enjambed couplets. Moving on to question number 18. What is an Alexandrine? Alexandrine can a line of four yambic feet occasionally used in the right couplet. A line of six iambic feet occasionally used in a right couplet, a line without iambic meter occasionally used in a right couplet, or a line without end stop. That is also wrong. A line of six iambic feet occasionally used in a right couplet. So, that is a line of six iambic feet. It is not for Alexandrines. B is the right option. Alexandrine is a line of six iambic feet occasionally used in a right couplet. So, B is the right option. Bring it to question number 19. What is Tarza Rima? Tarza Rima? Tarza Rima is three lines stanza of rhyming lines. Three lines stanza of rhyming lines. So, an end stop three lines stanza, that is wrong. Three lines stanza with fixed rhyming scheme, that is true. Tarza Rima is a run on three lines stanza with a fixed rhyming scheme. And Tarza Rima was used by Dante Allegory in his Divine Comedy. In his Divine Comedy, Dante, Dante, Dante has used okay, in his, in his, uh, in his, the divine comedy. The divine comedy was written in, was written in Tarzan. So Tarzan Rima is a run on three line stanza with a fixed rhyming scheme. So C is the right answer. So who has used Tarzan Rima? Dante has used in his divine comedy. Next question. What is rhyme royal stanza? What is rhyme royal stanza? Rhyme royal stanza. Rhyme royal stanza is a seven line stanza in any meter. Rhyme royal stanza is a seven line stanza in iambic pentameter. Any, it is not in any meter. So this is wrong. Rhyme royal stanza is a seven line stanza in iambic hexameter. That is also wrong. Rhyme royal stanza is a seven line stanza in iambic septameter. That is also wrong. So rhyme royal stanza is a seven line stanza in iambic pentameter. So B is the right option. Rhyme royal stanza is a seven line stanza in iambic pentameter. So B is the right option. Moving on to question number 21. Astrophel and Stella. Astrophel and Stella has been written by his writers Spencer, Sarin, Ely, Sidney. So Sidney in Elika has yeah, Astrophel and Stella. And what do you mean by the word Stella? Stella means star. Stella means star. And Astrophel means star lover. Astrophil means star lava. So Astrophil and Stella is a collection of sonnets written by Philip Sidney. Okay. Moving on to question number 22. Humanism 
is a term humanism is a term which strictly applies to what do you mean by the term humanism is a renaissance cultural movement which turned away from medieval uh, scholasticism scholasticism and revived interest in ancient greek and roman thought a humanitarian approach to literature reformation in the church the efforts of teachers to reform the educational system that is also wrong so humanism is actually a renaissance a renaissance cultural movement which turned away from the medieval scholasticism and revived interest in greek and roman thought okay this is humanism next spencer has been held or called as the poet's poet who has called spencer as the poet's poet w is better from charles lamb matthew arnold john ruskin so it was john ruskin it was charles lamb Charles Lamb has held Spencer as the poet's poet. So here, P is the right option. Next question: Spencer's famous that is quote, famous quote name is Epithalamion, commemorates the occasions of. So Spencer in his famous word that is called Epithalamion. In that Epithalamion, he is commemorating. He is commemorating the occasions of his marriage with Elizabeth Boyle. The accession of Elizabeth II to the throne of England, or the publication of his magnum opus, *The Fairy Queen*, or the return to the return to humble and single pastoral life. So, Epithalamion, in Epithalamion, he has commemorated marriage with Elizabeth I. So, he is the right answer. The marriage with Elizabeth I. So, remember that Epithalamion begins with the uh, letter E. So, E and so Elizabeth I. So, that's why. There is the connection E to E, so you can uh, remember this using this using this trick. Oliver, Oliver and Coffin State was eaten by Oliver and Coffin State was eaten by Thomas Overton, Thomas Taker, Thomas Fuller, Joseph. So Oliver and Coffin State was eaten by Thomas Fuller. Thomas Fuller ने क्या लिखा? Oliver and Coffin State. Next question. According to which school? language uh, a seriously language is language is a seriously constructed sign system sign system uh, it itself a material reality so according to which school uh, that language is a seriously constructed sign system and it itself a material reality was it archetypal literary criticism other options are formalism feminism and diagonalism that is criticism so it is formalism according to formalism according to formalism according to formalism that language is a seriously constructed sign system so it is actually formalism formalism next question question number 27 Formalism views literature primarily as a specialized mode of characters, emotion, plot, language. Formalism views literature primarily as a specialized mode of language. Okay. You need to need this. This is unnecessary. What is the subtitle here? Yeah. Question number twenty-nine. What is the subtitle of Ben Jonson's Volpone? So this question actually wrong. What is the meaning? What is the meaning of Ben Jonson's uh, was Volpone. What is the meaning of Ben Jonson's was Volpone? The lion, the fairy prince, discoveries, the fox. So it is the fox. It is actually the sly fox. Sly fox. It is actually sly fox. So the meaning of Volpone is sly fox. That was written by Ben Jonson. Okay. Next question. What is the subtitle of Ben Jonson's epic poem? What is the subtitle of Ben Jonson's epic poem? It is the silent women. The silent women is the uh, subtitle of Ben Jonson's epic poem. Is silent women. So here, yeah, this is the right answer. Which of the following novels is not written by Sir Walter Scott? Which of the following novels is not written by Sir Walter Scott? The Night of Gain, Fortune of Nigel, The Black Dog, The Two Droppers. These three novels were written by Walter Scott. These three novels were written by Walter Scott, whereas these novels were not written by uh, these three novels. 
it was not written by Walter Scott. So the Knight of Guide is the right answer. Is not written by Walter Scott. That is the Knight of Guide. Next one. Elizabeth Bennet. Elizabeth Bennet and Darcy are characters in Jane Austen's. So Elizabeth Bennet and Darcy are characters in Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice published in 1813. Okay. And Sense and Sensibility published in 1811. Northanger Abbey published in 1818. Ima published in 18, uh, it was not a time. I don't know if you have to remember it. Ima, Ima. So, yeah, uh, moving on to question 33. Uh, who is known as the Pigeon Poet? Who is known as the Pigeon Poet? Okay. John Clare, Robert Sadi, Robert Burns, and Walter Scott. So, Pigeon Poet is John Clare. John Clare is known as the Pigeon Poet, whereas Robert Burns is known as Plowman Poet. Who is the plowman poet? Robert Burns. Robert Burns is known as that is uh, plowman poet, and John Clare is known as the peasant poet. Mr. Smollett is the character in Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Scott's Rob Roy, Maria Edgeworth, Castle Rackman, Thomas Lapicus, Nightmare Abbey. So, Mr. Collins is a character in Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, published in 1813. Okay, next question. Which of the following works has been called the Magna Carta of Romanticism? Which, are, which of the following works has been called as the Magna Carta of Romanticism? Biography or literary? No. The Magna Carta of Romanticism is lyrical ballads, defense of poetry, the speed of age. So it is the lyrical ballad. Lyrical ballads is known as the Magna Carta of Romanticism. So B is the right that first came in 1798. The first edition of Lyrical Ballads came in 1798. John Selden's Table Talk. John Selden's Table Talk appeared in 1654, 54, 1618, 1689. So it is actually 1689, probably. Uh, John Selden's, please check it. Uh, probably the answer should be 1689. But I am requesting all of you to, uh, to check it, recheck it here. So it is 1689 would be the right answer. John Selden's table to gap in 1689. Okay. Now, next question. A Cypress book. A Cypress book published in 1623 is written by Ed Edmund Fuller, Joseph Hill, William Drummond, Sir Francis Bacon. So, a Cypress book published in 1623 is written by William Drummond. William Drummond has written a Cypress book. Next question. Name the poet whose poems were not published during his lifetime. Richard Preston, George Herbert, John Dunn, Abraham Cowley. So the poet whose poems were not published during his lifetime is George Herbert. George Herbert's poems were published posthumously after his death. So George Herbert is the right option. Next question. The authorized version of the Bible. The authorized version of the Bible, a work of 47 scholars, appeared in 1603, 1624, 1611, 1625. So the authorized version of the Bible came in 1611. 1611 is the right option. So 1611 is the right option. Who nominated the 47 scholars who prepared the authorized version of the Bible? So who had nominated the 47 scholars who prepared the authorized version of the Bible? Who is it the first? James the first, Charles the first, Oliver the first. So it is James the first. James the first okay, uh, prepared the authorized, uh, nominated the 47 scholars who prepared the authorized versions of the Bible. Moving on to question 41, the authorized version of the Bible that came in 1611 uh, is known as the first classic of English prose, the first classic of rationalism, the first classic of religious revival. So it is actually known as the first classic in English prose. So A is the right. Who is called the father of English novel? Who is called the father of English novel? Henry Fielding, Samuel Richardson, Daniel Defoe, Jonathan Swift. The father of English novel is Henry Fielding. Henry Fielding is known as the father of English novel. Fielding's Joseph Andrews emerges as the pioneer of psychological novel, novel of manners, historical novel, none of these. So Henry Fielding has written the novel, has written the novel Joseph Andrews and it emerges as the novel of manners. So it is a novel of manners. So B is the answer. Next question. Who propounded the theory of novel, novel writing? Who propounded the theory of novel writing? Richardson in its preface to Pamela, Swift in the preface of Gulliver's Travels, 
that from options who propounded the theory of novel writing now remaining two options are Henry Fielding in the preface of Tom Jones and Joseph Andrews or addition in the Coverly Papers. So it is Henry Fielding in his preface of Tom Jones and Joseph Andrews. He has propounded the theory of novel writing. So here C, here C is the right answer. Who defined the novel as a comic epic? The comic epic in prose. The comic epic in prose. Who defined the novel as a comic epic in prose? So, Tobias Smollett, Sam Richardson, Henry Fielding, Lawrence Stern. So, it is Henry Fielding. Henry Fielding ne bola hai novel ko kya? A comic epic in prose. A comic epic in prose is a novel. Who said Henry Fielding? Next question, what is Otaba Rima? Otaba Rima, it's an eight-length stanza in Yamri Pentameter with a fixed rhyming scheme. Very true. So, Otaba Rima, it is an eight-line stanza with an iambic pentameter with a fixed rhyming scheme, which is known as Otaba Rima. Next question. What is Spencerian stanza? It is a nylon stanza consisting of two quatrains in iambic pentameter rounded up with an Alexandrine. Or it is a nylon stanza of which the first line is a first line is a present, that is wrong. Last line is actually Alexandrine. It is a nylon stanza consists of two iambic pentameter quatrains joined by them, that is wrong. It is a nylon Nine stanza made up of four heroic couplets. That is also wrong. So here the past first is right idea that it is a nine line stanza consisting of two quatrains in iambic pentameter and ending with an Alexandrine. So it is the Spencerian stanza having nine line. Okay. Next question. Songs of sonnets known as Totals Miscellany appeared in 1557-1565. 1560-1570. Songs and sonnets known as Total's Miscellany published in 1557. In 1557, Total's Miscellany appeared. So here A is the right answer. Who introduced sonnet for the first time in English poetry? Sidney and Spencer, Thomas Wedden Arnold of Surrey, Thomas Moore and Ben Johnson, B. Moore and Fletcher. So it is Thomas Wade and Surrey. Thomas Wade and Surrey has introduced the sonnet for the first time in English poetry. So B is the Right of sun. Now, Arcadia is the narrative poem. Arcadia is the narrative poem. It's a romance, it's a play, it's a treatise. So, actually, Arcadia is a prose romance. It, it is a prose romance. It, Arcadia is a prose romance. So, here C is the right of sun. Which of the following deals with the enchanting American girl in Europe? Which of the following? Which of the following works deals with an enchanting American girl in Europe? Daisy Miller, Live on the Mississippi, and The Rise of Silas Lampen, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. So it is Daisy Miller. Now who wrote this novel? This novel, Daisy Miller, was written by Henry James. Henry James, Henry James has written Daisy Miller. Okay. Henry James has written the novel Daisy Miller and it is about uh, the title and character Daisy Miller. Henry James' novel, The Turn of the Screw. Another famous novel by Henry James is The Turn of the Screw. Contents an enzymatic detective story, no. Comic story, no. Last story, no. It's a ghost story. So it is a horror, horror, uh, horror story, a ghost story, a horror story. Henry James' novel, The Turn of the Screw, contents an enzymatic ghost story. Edith Burton. Edith Burton is known for his which work? Maggie, a girl of the streets, no. It was written by Stephen Crane. It was written by Stephen Crane. Stephen Crane has written A Guard of the Streets. Sister Carrie, The Age of Innocence, Red Badge of Courage. Red Badge of Courage, this was also written by Stephen Crane. Stephen Crane has written So, A Maggie, A Guard of the Streets, uh, The Red Badge of Courage. These were two novels, these are two works written by Stephen Crane, whereas Sister Carrie uh, was written by Theodore Drizel. Theodore Desire has written Sister Carrie. Theodore, Theodore Desire has written Sister Carrie and the Age of Innocence is the right answer. Edith Wharton, Edith Wharton has written the Age of Innocence. The Age of Innocence was written by Edith Wharton. So Maggie Agar of the Streets was written by Stephen Crane and the Red Badge of Courage was this one also written by Stephen Crane whereas Sister Carrie was written by Theodore Desire and the Age of Innocence was written by Edith Wharton. 
next question which is the best known novel which is the best known novel of stephen uh, stephen crane the best known novel of stephen crane is okay so we have the best known novel of stephen crane is sister carry the right of silas lamp and the red badge of courage maggie a card of the streets so stephen crane's ka best known all these two novels actually the red badge of courage and maggie card of the streets which are actually best known novels by stephen crane okay so this is wrong here stephen crane in stephen crane in, in maggie a girl of the streets maggie a girl of the streets so stephen crane in maggie a girl of the streets uh, depicted the life of is okay Okay, Stephen Crane, a Maggie, a girl of the streets, depicted the life of lovers, saints, politician, prostitute. So, uh, Stephen Crane in Maggie, a girl of the streets, is about the prostitute. So, D is the right option. Okay. Next question: Who wrote Sister Carrie? Sister Carrie was written by Stephen Crane, Theodore Dreiser, Dartwood Strain, Edith Wharton. Sister Carrie was written by Theodore. Uh, that is Theodore Dreiser has written Sister Carrie. So C is the right option. C is the right option. Who labeled a group of American literary? Who labeled a group of literary notables as the Lost Generation? So the term Lost Generation was uh, coined by or who uh, coined this term Lost Generation? It was Jartus Stein, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Ezra Pound, T. S. Eliot. So it was Jartus Stein. Jartus Stein has coined the term. Lost generation. So here A is the right option. Who among the following influenced by Ezra Pound? Who among the following was influenced by Ezra Pound? Mark Twain, William Dean Howells, F. Scott Fitzgerald, T. S. Eliot. So Ezra Pound was actually uh, who among the following influenced by Ezra Pound? So it is F. Scott Fitzgerald. F. Scott Fitzgerald was influenced uh, was influenced by Ezra Pound. Next question, question number 59. Who among the following finds out the masculine gender in English? So, Simon de Beaver, Kate, uh, you don't need to read this. These are unnecessary questions here. Okay. Uh, yes. Who of, you can do this here. Which of the following does not focus on male protagonists who embody masculine traits and field of action? Tom Jones, Ulysses, as you like it, Hamlet. So, it is Ulysses. Ulysses is that. And in the one, this is unnecessary question, so we will keep this. Okay, so question. Uh, this question, wait a minute. The autobiography of an unknown Indian, this is important question. The autobiography of an unknown Indian is based to work of A.K. Ramanujan, Niratsi Chaudhari, Kamala Das, Jayanthi Mahapatra. So, autobiography of an unknown India is written by Niratsi Chaudhari. Niratsi Chaudhari has written the autobiography of an unknown India. Who translated the entire Mahabharata into English? Who translated the entire Mahabharata into English? Was it Bikram Said, Arkinarayan, uh, Sudnarayan, and Pilar? It is Purushottam Lal. Pilar has translated the entire Mahabharata into English. Graham Greene was the close friend of Graham Greene was the close friend of Tarudha, uh, yeah, Harendrana Chattavarda, Arkinarayan, Bharti Mukherjee. So Graham Greene was the close friend of uh, it is Arkinarayan. Arkinaran whose friend is Graham. Naran created the fictitious town of Malmudi, which is similar to Thomas Hardy's Wessex too. So Arkinaran has created the fictitious town called Malmudi, whereas Thomas Hardy has created Wessex and Walter Scott's Waverly. Walter Scott's Waverly, no, this Waverly. Okay. And question number 66 here. In which play? Baker, Thomas Baker collaborated uh, with Philip Messenger, Old Fortunates, Saturday Mastics, The Witch of Edmonton, The Virgin Matter. So it's The Virgin Matter. Thomas Baker has collaborated with Philip Messenger and the name of the play is The Virgin Matter. So here D is the right option. Thomas Middleton, um, uh, Thomas Middleton, uh, uh, okay. which of the following plays by uh, 
uh, of Milton is praised by Lamb and other writers. Okay. With the following plays of Middleton is praised by Lamb and other writers. The Spanish gives you the women, dear women, the witch, the changeling. So it is the witch. The witch is the right option. The witch, uh, yeah, the witch is the right option. Next question. Who was the first Indian writer in English? English. Moving on to the last question here. Yeah. Moving on to the last question. Russian formalism, that is Russian formalism flourished during 1920 to 1935, 1915 to 1925, 1920 to 1930, 1915 to 1930. So Russian formalism flourished during, it should be 1910, 1910 to 1930. So Russian formalism flourished during 1910 to 1930. So the time period of Russian formalism. So thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned and enjoy the appreciation that I